Hi, I'm Liam from Cataclysm, and in this video, we'll walk you through the process of removing and installing your graphics card. This is helpful if you want to swap to a different graphics card, or you want to reseat your current one in case you're having any issues, or you want to access an area of your motherboard that the GPU is currently covering, like your M.2 slot. For this demonstration, we'll be swapping an RTX 3060 with an RTX 4070 Super, and all you'll need is a screwdriver. If you're swapping to a different graphics card, I recommend checking out our video on how to uninstall graphics card drivers first. Timestamps can be found in the video description. To begin, we'll remove the graphics card from the PC. First, power off your PC and switch off your power supply. Next, remove the power cable and hold down the power button for at least five seconds to discharge any power remaining in the PC. Depending on your case, use your screwdriver to remove any screws holding in your side panel, but in this case, our side panel will just pop off. Now lay the PC on its side, then disconnect the PCIe cables from the GPU by holding down the clip and just pulling. There are currently two main types of PCIe cables, 8-pin and 12 plus 4-pin. They are both removed and installed in exactly the same way, and in our case, we'll be swapping from an 8-pin GPU to a 12 plus 4-pin GPU. Now that the PCIe cable is removed, remove the screws mounting the GPU to the case. They are typically found near the rear of the case. In this PC, it's found here. Press down on the plastic latch on the motherboard at the end of the GPU slot. Some high-end motherboards will have a button that you can press for ease of access. Now pull the graphics card directly up and out of the case. Now that we've removed the 3060, we'll now be installing the 4070 Super. First, ensure the latch on the graphics card slot is pressed down. This is how the graphics card latch works. Now insert the graphics card into the same slot, ensuring it clicks into place. If you're switching to a different card, you may need to remove or reinstall PCI slot covers, as different cards may occupy a different number of slots. Now screw the graphics card into the case. If your newly installed graphics card uses the same number of cables, you can simply reuse the existing cables. However, if it requires any additional PCI cables or a 12 plus 4 pin adapter, you may need to locate extra cables at the power supply typically found near the back of the PC. Since we're upgrading from an 8 pin to a 12 plus 4 pin GPU, we'll be using the included adapter to connect the power cables. To follow specific instructions on each process, skip to the relevant timestamp on your screen. If you're reusing your existing PCIe cables, just plug them into your graphics card. Make sure the two pin plug goes in before the six pin to ensure the cable is plugged in correctly. If you require any additional PCIe cables and or you're using a 12 plus 4 pin adapter, remove the rear panel to access the power supply and its cables. Now locate the extra PCIe cables and feed them alongside the existing PCIe cable. If you're using a graphics card that doesn't require the adapter, connect the 8-pin cables directly into the graphics card. Make sure the 2-pin plug goes in before the 6-pin to ensure the cable is plugged in correctly. But if you require the adapter, connect the 8-pin cables into the adapter, then plug it into the graphics card. Note that some power supplies may already have a standalone 12 plus 4-pin cable. Now that the graphics card is installed, we can put the side panels back on the case. Reinstall the side panel and the back panel if removed and screw them in. Now plug the power cable into the power supply and switch it on. Lastly, power on your PC and you're good to go. You've now successfully removed and installed your graphics card. You can now proceed by installing your drivers. If you installed an NVIDIA graphics card, I recommend checking out our video on how to install and update NVIDIA drivers. Or if you have an AMD card, I recommend checking out our video on how to install and update AMD drivers.